Tiraz of Osiris is on its way back, and it's going to be one of the best ways to get loot, getting your light level up for Destiny and Hard Mode Raid. Now, why haven't you been playing PvP? Well, because you've been grinding PvE the whole time. You've been doing Omnigo Strikes. You've been doing the raid. You've been doing what is the most efficient way to get your light level up. And there's no problem with that. But unfortunately, these past couple of days, you haven't been playing enough PvP. Because if you're going to be going into Trazo Osiris and all you've been doing is shooting dregs in the face, your aim is probably feeling real shitty right about now. Because not only have you been shooting AI targets, well, you haven't been strafing as much as you used to. Most likely the weapons you're using are more suited for PvE, and maybe they have a longer range scope on your sniper. Or you're using a scout rifle instead of a hand cannon like you're used to. You're going to feel a little bit rusty when you jump into PvP. So, if all you do this week is play PvE and you don't practice, when you go into Trials of Osiris when it's going to matter, when you need to get your wins, you're not going to carry your team, you're not going to dominate, you're not even going to do that good, because you don't know what PvP is. You don't know what it is, you haven't lived it, baby! I highly suggest that you jump into some rumble games, play some 6v6, whatever it takes to get some targets in front of you, and practice shooting at them again, using your super at a smart time, things like that. If you want, go play some custom games with friends, jump in the elimination playlist, and practice your Trials of Osiris. Maybe you have a new sniper rifle you're not used to. Maybe you have a new hand cannon you're not quite used to. You want to make sure that these are crisp, that you're landing your shots, and that you feel comfortable with them on these targets that are obviously a lot harder to shoot than the common Vandal or Drag, or boss that's standing still. That's the biggest thing. A lot of the damage you've been dealing, a lot of the trigger pulls you've been having, have been while the target is standing still, in a boss DPS phase or things like that. It doesn't help you out very much when you jump into a live gameplay like this. And no, that wasn't a teabag. I was trying to dodge his bullets. Don't yell at me. Don't, don't judge me, boys. I'm just trying to give you some quick, quick tips, some hot, hot tips to try and get you ready for this weekend. Because if you succeed, you get to the lighthouse this weekend, whether it's on one or three characters, there's most likely going to be some really nice gear with some cool perks, some nice guns maybe, and overall, you're going to be very happy that you put in the time to prep, to be ready for this Trials of Osiris weekend. Because on the 30th, Friday at 11 a.m. my time, 1 p.m. Eastern I think it is, that's when it starts. That's when it's, it's game time. So, get your light level up while you can but please don't neglect the pve grind don't be you know jumping in there after not playing for like a week or two weeks because it's just it's not fair to you it's not fair to your teammates especially if you're the one guy on your team that hasn't been playing in a long time people get rusty i get rusty i went away for 10 days to visit some family and i couldn't play and when i came back i was a big bag of shit <laughs> i guess i was a big bag of dicks boys so get your crispy buns into the crucible, play some PvP, and have some fun. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.